Did somebody find their first mushroom? Just when I was gonna give up and go find the rest of the group. Give me the knife. Трохи зле, що вона от буде тут їхати і не буде бачити всю дорогу. He says it's kind of bad that you're going to be in here and you won't see the whole road. <laughs> All right guys, so we're mushroom foraging today with my family out in the woods. Uh, it's something that we really want to do while we're here in Ukraine. Uh, in the fall, it is a very popular thing here. My parents used to do it. Everyone kind of does it around here. So we kind of wanted to take our step at it and see how it is for ourselves. We definitely would never try this by ourselves because we do not know which no. mushrooms are edible and which ones could kill you. So, yeah. um, but they know, they're the professionals. They are. They're, they're telling us which ones we can pick up, which ones we can keep and which ones we should just leave well enough alone. Yev and I actually have been pretty under the weather and both of us have had a few days where we've been sick in bed. Yesterday, Yev Hen got to go mushroom foraging with his cousins and he had to leave me in bed because I was still not healthy enough to go. So that's why I was so excited today when they wanted to go out again to a place that was a little bit farther away um, and hopefully find some big ones. I wouldn't be worried at all. I think this is all just super fun if I hadn't been informed that there are poisonous snakes in here. Boy. Well, you got the stick, you know, just make some noise. And you know, it's 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 a good way to find mushrooms is because you, you got to keep looking on the ground looking for snakes, you know? Yeah. It's like you're snake hunting, but you're and your reward for snake hunting is no snakes, but mushrooms. mushrooms. There you go. Professional mushroom forger right in front of us out in her natural habitat. Uh-huh. Oh, but look, there's probably more. more. Amy, maybe you can it's find your huge. first one. Just when I was gonna give up and go find the rest of the group, give me the knife. Oh. I don't know how to do oh there we go. Haha. -ha. What do you cut down? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that, that's beautiful. Look at that, it's like the size of my head. Show, show us the crown from underneath. Oh, look at it. Spongy, beautiful. Where's that? Cut, cut a nice chunk. Oh no, because better not have worms in it, I'd be so sad. Oh, I don't know how to do this. Mm. What do you think? Oh, I think it's good. You think it's okay? Yeah, I think. That's not the best, not the worst. No, I think it's good. Congratulations. Thank you very much. There's a lot of mosquitoes out here. But I found my first mushroom. Even if I don't find another mushroom all day, I feel like just because I found one white mushroom, huge and big, it's been successful. It was worth it. But I'd like to find more than just one. Got one, babe? I don't know if it's any good. So why do you use the knife? use the knife so that you leave a little bit of the mushroom there so that new ones grow in there in its place. Good one or worms? Worms. Worms. I found a mushroom. You can almost not even see it. Oh. It's fine. No, it's not a it's not a white mushroom, but... Yellow? Foamy? Okay, mm, it's not a bad mushroom. Yay! A snook, I think. Is that the name of it? But it looks good. Not a... Uh, not no bad. Worms. No worms. Yes! Yeah, you can miss them in all the, in all the leaves. <laughs> We're probably walking past like a bunch of mushrooms, which is so sad because we're like foraging so much ground. But the grass is very unkept here, to say the least. Guys, Jenya was gone for a little while and he came back with like 
one bucket completely full of like some ginormous mushrooms and some little ones and then like another bucket that was half full and I was feeling so good about my one big mushroom and then I was really humbled it's really humbled but I found more than black right <laughs> I don't think black found any oh wow well lucky huh put it next to your head Look at this. Wow. That Look at this one, this is beautiful. Oh. These ones are good for canning. Dudes are hot me. I really hope this is a good one. Da, da, da. Oh, it's kind of gross. Picking them out so off the ground. You ready? Look at her. Nice. Beautiful. Good job, oh. boo. Let me catch. There's another one down here that looks kind of gross, but I'm gonna try to see. Nice catch. This is a good one. This is the white one. Woohoo! Finally catching my stride in mushroom foraging. And I finally learned how to, ouch, open and close a knife successfully. Oh, this one's kind of green at the bottom. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. yeah? You got one? Little one, little one, little one. A little one? <laughs> one Knife. Aw, so cute! Guys, this is way more fun when you're finding them and it's successful <laughs> than when you're just like swinging your legs back and forth through these really high grasses and you're getting out of breath because <laughs> you've been sick and it's actually a lot of effort when you're not finding anything but our energy is up our spirits are higher it's golden hour and we're finding mushrooms do you think mushroom foraging is super romantic i think it is <laughs> it's also very sweaty <laughs> all this fungus between us <laughs> <laughs> so much fun some of them are really funky looking guys yeah we are headed out hoods on because my hair kept getting stuck in all the branches. How you Ooh. doing, babe? I'm good. good. Tired. Tired. You have good. fun? Yeah. Started to pull our weight a little bit better in the end. Yeah, yeah, we found that little patch. It's kind of like, you can walk everywhere, you might not find anything, but usually like, mushrooms are like in clusters and there's like patches of like, a lot of them. So if you find a patch, it's worth it to spend some time in that area and kind of Pick the whole area. And I think that's what happened to us. We found a nice patch. <laughs> this whole vlog is gonna be us just like swatting away bugs and branches. <laughs> All right, so we made it back to the road. How many buckets of mushrooms do we have? We have at least four buckets of mushrooms. <laughs> oh my gosh, check it out. They're huge and so colorful. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But I say successful day foraging for mushrooms yeah. in Ukraine. Yeah, definitely. It was one of an ex it was a good experience. Yeah, you glad I got to come the second time? I am, I am. Yeah, was it, it wasn't the same without you. Aww. <laughs> we all want to hear, right guys? Yeah. But oh. let's see. Yeah, guys like <laughs> Technically, we forage mushrooms in like an old uh, it's an old like Soviet training facility where they used to like throw bombs as target practice. It says you can't go in here, too. But they let us go in to get the mushrooms. But anyway, that's all for today. We'll see you guys in the next one here in Ukraine. But have a good night, guys. Bye. Toodles. Toodles. <laughs> Look at the loot that we have. They're so funky. We're cleaning them off. That's all the clean ones. Gonna boil them. But what'd you say, like 15, 15 pounds? Yeah, 15 pounds. That is so many mushrooms. So many mushrooms.